What up, people? Don't call it a comeback. Long time no see. So I've got a unboxing first impression that I want to give to you guys. Not for myself to be seen. Not for the company for any type of promo or anything. But for you guys. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, so bear with me. I'll try to keep it short. But I'm super duper excited about this company. The changes and everything that they've done to create a new company. I got my box from Alley Cat Beard Company. Huge box. We're about to pull out a beautiful box. I have seen a lot of people do unboxings on these, and I've been so, so jealous. Couldn't wait to get mine. So, understand that I'm not in the review game anymore. I'm not trying to make money for customers or for companies. I'm not trying to be seen, not trying to be anything. I'm still, as always, trying to get you on the best stuff that you could possibly get for your beard. By the way, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. My beard. End of last year, got a wild hair, wanted to change it up, took it clean off. Head to, looked like I got caught in the fire, it was terrible. But anyhow, we're bringing it back out. Um, so, Alley Cat Beard Company, I was uh, honored to be able to be a tester for this company for the oils and the butters and all the things that, that, uh, that Gary, the owner, was trying to do to make improvements, to ch completely change the game. I was honored to be a part of that. Uh, I got to see several iterations of oils and a couple or a few iterations of butters. Not sure, I've still got them all. And actually, uh, I can speak to the, the oil. I have been using that oil about half the time I've ever put anything in my beard has been the tester oil, the final tester oil from Alley Cat Beard Company. Super duper proud of where he is. There was a previous uh, a company that he owned previously. When uh, when I first got to that company, probably about two or three years ago, I wasn't a big fan of, of the carriers. I wasn't a fan of the feel or the scents. Um, and actually, Gary and I were like oil and oil and water. We just didn't mix. We just couldn't mesh. I don't think you could have found two bigger enemies in the beard community at the time. If you're a part of it and you remember it, then reminisce. If not, don't ask. Don't bother. But we've since gone past that, and I've watched this gentleman grow. I've watched him improve on uh, his all of his making skills, the scent skills, the feel skills especially. Uh, his feel in beard for everything he's done previous when he ended his previous company was absolutely stellar. I didn't think it could get any better until these testers started coming my way, and I was just absolutely blown away. So I have my box. To my knowledge, I don't have any experience with any of his scents, so this will be the very first time that I get my nose on any of his scents. Um, everybody and their brother has done an unboxing on this. If you want to get some information on the Carrier Blend, exotic Carrier Blend, that it really, really works well with my beard. We'll talk about that a little bit later. If you want to get information on that, go check out the website. The website looks great. There's an app out there. The app looks great. Uh, so check those out if you want to get some deep dive information. But right now, I want to get right to it, and I want to start smelling this stuff and see what's in this box. So let's open it for the very first time. You see what I see, just like always. Did he tape it like my grandma? No, he didn't tape it like grandma's presents. All right. Oh, man, there's a lot of stuff in there. So let's go through. Might have to pull out some spectacles here. So let's work with, let's get all these butters out of here. I'm going to pause and save you a little bit of time to get things organized and I'll come right back to you. All right. I got a gang of stuff out of this box. Looks like eight oils, eight butters. I'll show you each individually. The beard gummity, gummies, gummies. We have Drift, Daily Beard Wash, and the beard conditioner. I'll touch on all these individually, but I've got to get on these scents. But before I do... I have always, since I since I very first saw it, I've always loved that logo. Man, it is so cool. If y'all know I do woodworking and just crazy things in the shop sometimes, I would love, love, love to recreate that logo. But that is so far above my skill level. It's going to take some time. If I, if I do it, it's going to take some time. I'll have to give that one some thought. But I love the branding. I love the way the product looks. So let's do that. In absolutely no order... And I have a cheat sheet. I'm not going to try. I'm going to try not to look at uh, the scent profiles until after at least I've smelled it the first time, so I can kind of get a 
an unencumbered uh, first first opinion, uh, first impression. So let's start off with 1981. Beautiful black bottles. Peekaboo side in there so you can see your oil level. My lighting in here is horrible. Sorry about that. So 1981. Let me get a sniff of this and see if I can figure out what it is. And I'd like to try to be able to warm up everything. Oh, each with a protective, te a pr protective top. That's nice. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Fizz 182. No, that's not Fizz 182. That's uh, 1981. That's a cologne-ish. I'm getting a cologne-ish vibe. Now let me cheat. 1981 is a manly cologne with cream, sugar, and earthy undertones. I like that. I really, really like that. And you're going to see me smelling and warming up a lot. I've come prepared with some wet wipes. I really, really do like the cologne. I have not ever really been a cologne guy. But here lately, there's been a couple that's got that's been put out, and actually one from uh, Gary's previous company that I just really, really love. So I'm starting to get more towards and more interested in colognes. I don't know what that's about, but 1981, I really, really like that. That's just a cologne scent. It's a really, really good cologne scent. Uh, there's one I want to save till last. So I've heard a lot about this Van Winkle. And I guess to answer the question, Van Winkle is supposed to be a cooling or, or an icy cool wintry type vibe from what I'm understanding from people saying uh, and the and Van Winkle is uh, the name of Vanilla Ice Rob Van Winkle his real name uh, there is a real real name of Vanilla Ice so I thought that was pretty clever to have an ice based scent in the name of Ice Ice Baby Vanilla Ice so let's get our nose around it. this is supposed to be pretty tough another top easy to get off hey good morning good morning all right let me see if I can get a little bit of that on Mint, cool, refreshing. It's uh, it's almost like some spruce or something in there. Something that's really earthy, sprucey, Christmassy, cold. Now let's cheat and see what it is. Van Winkle is iced out vanilla and peppermint. Okay, the vanilla and peppermint vibe. That's what's going on. It's got, I got a little sprucey vibe off of that. I like that. That's going to be a great winter scent. All right. Moving right along, trying to go as fast as I possibly can. Uh, Hooligan. One of the ones that I know I wanted. I don't want to cheat. I almost saw it. Hooligan. I can't remember. Is this a tobacco one or something? We're about to find out. I'm not picking up much off of that. Uh, just got over the C word about a week and a half ago where I lost a little bit of my senses so we're going to have to warm this one up it's definitely a tobacco it's it almost it almost gives me a vibe of, of like a, a a soft chocolate tobacco like a milk chocolate tobacco but i'm sure that's not what it is but that's the vibe that i'm getting let me cheat now and this was hooligan dark cherry double tobacco i didn't get cherry out of that i didn't get cherry out of that hardly at all Double tobacco and oud. This one is slipping by. I know there's more to this than than what I can smell, and I think that's what I'm dealing with with getting over the colds that I've had in the uh, the vid for a while. Robbed me of some taste and some scent there for a bit. All right, moon stompers. I remember what this one was. There's no no even getting around it. Moon stompers, if I'm not mistaken, was supposed to be apple something, apple something. So we're gonna go after moon stompers. Sorry, this is not the professional high production quality that you all are accustomed to. That is not my thing. That's a green apple. That's a green apple. There's no need to even warm that up. Now let me see if there's anything else to it. Moon Stompers, freshly stomped forest apples, apples with a touch of warmth. Hmm. I don't smell cinnamon in there, so I don't think the warmth, the warmth is cinnamon. I've never been a big fan of apples. This one might not get too much of my time. I'll give it a shot. I'll put it in, but I've never been big on just straight up apples, but it's definitely you're, you're, you're either biting into or toting a bag of green apples, getting that right off the, right off the rip. All right. Ruckus. I think this is the other one that I really, really wanted. And if I'm not mistaken, there's some strawberry in it. 
I don't want to try to remember and I don't want to cheat just yet, like usual. Ruckus. Lighting is terrible. It's what it is. You get nothing but the truth here, people. Ruckus. Oh, that's nice. All right, all right. I need a fresh wipe. I need a fresh spot. I got to warm that up. All right. Let's see how this is going to work out. I'm getting strawberry and something else. I'm not even going to try to fake it or pretend, but it's a really, really good scent. Now let me cheat. Ruckus. Rich strawberry jam and oud. Probably wouldn't have picked the oud out of that right off the rip. I like that. That that would be one. That's probably going to be one of the very first ones I start with so far. I've got three left, guys. Bear with me. We're going to go with retro. I don't remember what this one is at all. Retro. Oh, that's like a vanilla, soft, cool, smooth Tonka, maybe. I love Tonka and vanilla. I could pick those out of darn near anything. That's like a that's like the vanilla vibe. Let me warm a little bit of that up. I like that. That that's probably gonna be one of the ones I wear the most. Oh yeah, pops, man. It gets it gets spicy. Okay. It gets a little bit sharper when you warm it up. I like that. Retro is nice. Now, what do we got with retro? A warm Tonka oud and vanilla with a spot of honey. Now that I've said that, I remember that. Okay, okay. Retro. Love, love that one. Very, very good one there. Two left. We're going to go with Fizz 182. I've heard a lot of people, I know this has got some type of carbonation or something in it. I'm not sure what else there is. Um, but I've heard a lot of people talk about carbonation. And I've never experienced a carbonated beard oil scent. I, I think there's been a couple that's gone around. Uh, but we are going to give Fizz 182. I'm sure it's named for Blink 182. Oh, no kidding. It's like popping a can of like cherry or peach or some type of soda. It's the very first bit you get when you pop a brand new cold soda out of the fridge. But it's like a fruity. I like that. Let me try to warm that one up. Bear with me. Sorry to go so long, you guys. It's hard to do this many products quickly. Oh man, that is nice. That is just like a pop, like a like a fruit pop. Like a I don't even say pop, like a fruit soda. I guess for y'all folks up north, you call them pop. But it's that fizz that you uh, you can almost feel. I think it's more of a feel than a smell for me. It's nice that all these have open tops because if the restrictors were in there when I'm trying to smell them, man, I might as well just skip them because I can't smell anything through a restrictor. I have no choice but to warm it up. And luckily, I've got a bag full of restrictor caps that come with that. So I can put my own in. All right, so Fizz 182 was, huh, Peach Citrus Fizz Bomb. Yeah, that's it. I'm getting, I definitely was getting the citrus and the fizz. I would have probably not guessed peach. Never been a big fan of peach, but this is a good scent. I'm going to give that one a shot. The last one, and the one that I wanted the most, I know this is a barber shop. The name is Scumbag Joe's. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's named after uh, one of a, a, I think it's not in this country, uh, a barber shop elsewhere that uh, Gary supplies product to. Uh, and the barber shop's name is Scumbag Joe's. So, Scumbag Joe's. I've always been a huge fan of barber shops, no matter what. Uh, angle that barbershop takes. I always kind of like all of them, so we're going to see what this one's doing. Oh, that's a clean barbershop. That's a fresh, clean barbershop. All right, let me get a clean spot. Not to go farther up the arm. Oh yeah, that's gentlemanly. That's a like a gentleman's barbershop, not like a dirty old get your hair cut, get a shave. That's a gentleman's barbershop. It almost has a, a cologne-ish vibe. Not sure what that is, uh, but it smells like a good clean barbershop walking into one. So now let me see what it says. Uh, Scumbag Joe's, Belgian barbershop. Okay, so apparently that barbershop is in Belgium. 
if I'm not mistaken. Um, so those are all the scents and I'm digging them. There's not one that I, I don't think that I, that I don't, I think the only one that I, I say I do not don't like, I don't normally wear. I do like the scent, but there's going to be a time and a place for this. The, probably the one that, that, that I might stay away from the most because of, I don't like apples that much and especially green apples. It's Moon Stompers. It's a great scent. If you like apples, it's apples. There's no doubt. But I'm not a big fan of apples. Some people don't like apples, strawberries. I'm just, me and green apples are not, uh, we don't hang. So a bunch of hits. With them all came the butter. Before I go here, please check the website out. I know you've probably already done it. And you've probably heard it from all these other uh, reviewers that have read down the carrier oils. When Gary was developing these, he was throwing so many different things together in different ratios, trying new blends, and he would never really tell us what each one individually was, um, but it was a constant getting a new one in the mail, trying a new one. Hey, check out this one. Let's talk about this one. What do you feel about this one? I would take notes for him. I'm honored to have been a part of that process, uh, but I said all that to say this. I, I see a lot of fly-by-night uh, companies, and that's fine. I mean, if if you want to create a beard product, a beard oil, and you want to just experiment on your customers as you sell it, that's nothing wrong with that. But I know the amount of time and the months, months, and months that went into the development just of the carrier blend. I can't speak to any of the scents. I don't know how long it took him to create that. I really wasn't a part of the, the scent part. Uh, but on the carrier blend for these oils, it took a long, long time for him to get this nailed down. And when he finally got it nailed down, when I got the one that said final, Man, I still use it to this day, um, and probably I think the most the sh the most shining thing that I can say about this this oil blend from my beard personally is how it works with me. Super duper uh, nourishing, very very nourishing, and I'd use so much of it over time I couldn't use anything else. So I was, I was just testing Gary's new stuff. When we got to the final, the thing that shines most about this is that I would put it in my beard back when I had a longer beard, much longer beard. Um, and I would let it sit for 24 hours. I would extend where I wanted to take a shower to where I, so I can wear this in my beard for another, you know, maybe another 10 hours past the 24 hour time frame because I wanted to see longevity. And I'm telling you out of everything that I've ever tried, I, I've, I've not had an experience to where I've had an oil last that long in my beard. And I would try it with, with a wash, without a wash, with a co-wash, without a co-wash, oil, butter, oil by itself. But this oil by itself stands alone to where really there's nothing else. If you miss this oil, you've missed something. You can try the wash, you can try the co-wash, you can do all the other things. But if you miss this oil, you believe me when I tell you, you've missed something. Again, I'm not doing this so you'll watch my video. I'm not doing this so Gary makes an extra couple bucks off of his brand new company. I'm doing this for you so you know where you can get some pretty good stuff. I've been on it for a while and it's phenomenal. I love the way it feels. So that's already hit my top three without a, without question. Now, I at least want you to get your eyes on these. Uh, this has always been a test for me. Hadn't seen anybody point it out. Um, whenever I get a butter, I always... You know, the label looks, it looks fantastic. It just, it's very, very professional. And I can't wait to get my uh, glasses on and look at them even closer, even though I've seen plenty of pictures of them. One test I've always, I've always gotten is you can tell how much care is put in. When you look at the top label, when it's closed, if you can look at that and flip it straight up and you have your side label right there, that's one like that. Let's, let's, let's test him on all of them. All of them lined up. Let's see, all of them lined up. So if he, we've got three, we've got four, now it's the trust thing. So I know he's got them all lined up like that. That is a sign of a true, true professional. I really dig that he's doing that. I really dig that he's paying attention to the, uh, to the, to the, paying attention to detail to get those little extra little bit of things for us. I have tried this conditioner in a very, very small dose. It's been quite some time to the point where I don't remember where it sat, where it stood. I knew I liked it. I knew it worked well. Um, and I'm not sure if it changed after the iteration that I've tried. So I'll need to give this some more time. And I don't think that I have tried the wash yet. So I can't speak on these. I can speak on these, the awesome packaging. And you can actually feel it. I've heard somebody else say that in the video. This is not just printed on. You can feel uh, the, the ink and everything on it. It's really, really nice. 
It's going to make it easier for us to get every last drop of that stuff out. Uh, and on top of that, Gary uh, has included the Beard Vitamin Gummies. I was not aware come with this. Uh, and I've not tried these. I've always done um, uh, just the Walmart, just the Walmart beard growth. I don't know what that can you call it? Biotin. The Walmart Biotin. Uh, I've never tried any specific beard gummies, so I'll be trying these now. Uh, Gary, thank you uh, for everything you've done to try to keep us looking, feeling, smelling great. Uh, it's very, very clear that you care about your customers and our experience. Um, the presentation is stellar. The box is awesome. I'll never get rid of the box. The gushing is over, guys. I'm sorry. I had to get this on camera of my very first impressions of the scent on everything, and I'm glad I did. I'm sorry that it went so long. Uh, guaranteed, any one of these, if you were to go to the website and take a look at the section that says the smells, start there. Uh, look and see what you think might strike you and catch you a combo, catch you a couple combos. Don't miss, don't miss at least the feel and beard. If you if you do nothing else, get just one oil just for you, not to support the company, not for nobody else. Just get one oil for you and give it a shot. I promise, unless there's something wrong with your face, you will not be disappointed. I love the way it feels in my beard. So anyway, gush, gush, we're over. Be a long time before y'all see me again, but I had to get this out. If you need me, holler, hit me in the comments. I'm always around, very, very trimmed back on Instagram, uh, and I'm not as, as inclusive or as present in the community as I once was, and there are reasons for that, just kind of mean people, I don't mess with mean people, um, but anyhow, haven't abandoned you, I'm still here, if you've got questions, I've got other videos you could check out, if you got a fat head, I got a big head uh, hat stretching video, I got all kinds of things for you, RC cars, whatever you need, uh, I'm not trying to get big, I just, you know, I've got some stuff that you might be interested in. Y'all boys be good. Take care of your beards. Have a great one.